Today, we are going over the August Smart Lock Pro Plus Connect Hub. This Connect Hub lets you control the lock over Wi-Fi, so you can control it anywhere in the world. First off, the lock was ridiculously easy to install and very easy to use. So do I recommend it? Yes, you should definitely get it. The current price is 200 and once in a while you'll find it for on sale for maybe 150 or even 100 before you can even install the hardware, you should install the software on your phone. So you'll need this August Home app on your Android machine. Or on iOS, you'll find something similar. Once you install, go ahead and open it. It will ask you to sign in or sign up. Go ahead and sign up if you don't already have an account. It will ask you for your email, so give it your email. And then it will send you a code to verify that that email is legit so be sure that you use a legit email and not a fake email once you are all signed up go ahead and add a device inside the box there are no manuals except a QR code you can scan to download the app and when you click on the app it will send you a full video tutorial on how to add and install the device but if you'd like to hear my voice instead, then here we go. The first thing you'll need is to use the included tape to tape up your existing deadbolt. You'll need to tape it up on the outside as seen here. Do not tape it on the inside because on the inside you'll be removing it soon. Go on to the back side or the inside of your house and go ahead and remove these two bolts once you remove the two bolts this is what you should see in case you're curious what this thing is it is to uh, fortify the doors so that way the door cannot be kicked down or at least very difficult to kick down with next you'll use this piece that's provided go ahead and put this piece in and then put the two bolts back in this is what it looks like from another angle if you like me, using a sledge lock, it will not work. How do I know it doesn't work? Because I try to tighten the bolt all the way in and it does not go all the way in. You can see there's about um, half an inch of the bolt sticking out and that's not good. Also, when you put in the adapter, there, it came with three adapters. One of the adapters for the sledge, this blue teal adapter does not latch onto any of the components of the lock so therefore my uh, deadbolt from sledge is not compatible so I have to remove all of the sledge first remove this on the uh, the jam I believe now that the quick set lock is installed you can see that I'm able to use the provided adapter mounting and my uh, bolts fit in perfectly next installing the adapter the plastic adapter it's compatible as you can see because this green piece is now latching onto the lock the proper way to do it is make sure that this little stub is sticking upward and the fat stub is down at the bottom you not you won't see it here but it's directly opposite of this little uh, snub the wing the other components of the lock is this make sure that you open this wing outward and this other side wing is going outward as well make sure that the inner part remember the little thing this little uh, snub piece is facing forward I mean facing upward and a fat piece is facing downward so that way it will marry the other plastic adapter easily properly oh I took a, a very blurry photo of the adapter going in it should fit in easily and then you just close the wing down on the other side close it down as well next we're going to install the door sense this lets the August lock know if your door is actually closed so go ahead and open the um, deadbolt mark it with a piece of tape 
using the double sided adhesive go ahead and put the door sense once you're done installing the door sense go ahead and calibrate the lock once the lock has been calibrated with opening or closing we're going to connect the uh, connect component go ahead and plug the connect near your lock there's only one button on the unit press and hold it down until you see it slowly blinking green for me when i plugged in it was automatically slowly blinking green already follow the on-screen prompt to enter your wi-fi password and then it will try to connect to your wi-fi if all is good this is what you should see the app is pretty easy to use there's four tabs at the bottom the door is closed and the unit is not locked you can see all of the activities in the other tab in the third tab you can share your lock with other people so this is useful for airbnb or contractors going in and out of your house the last tab is just settings you will find more settings in this menu as well if you want to have the august lock be integrated into your home assistant setup and i'm sure you do go ahead and go to the left hand side of home assistant go down to configuration go over into integration on the bottom right side click on add integration find august click on august your username will be your email that you set up with august earlier looks like it has two-factor authentication so that's good it's asking for me for the code so i'm going to give it the code from my email it looks like it's all good if you are curious what's inside let's go ahead and click on four entities and see what's inside here we can see the uh, it looks like the status, the battery, whether the door is open or not. I'm not sure what this is. If we click on the August device, this is what you would see, and all of the entities that's associated with it. So here you can unlock, lock it, check the battery status, whether the door is open or closed. Pretty slick, right? Remember so far this whole unit is connected to the august server somewhere located in the cloud now if you really want your august lock to be completely independent of the august servers go ahead and connect it via z-wave to your home assistant hub or whatever hub you are using i'm using home assistant my favorite click on the gear settings go ahead and click on lock settings go down to z-wave settings if your z-wave settings is all grayed out you cannot click on it then um, make sure that your phone or whatever you're holding on to right now is near your lock so i'm using my phone but you can also use your tablet next click on add to z-wave network go ahead and put your home assistant in inclusion mode to do so in, in home assistant click on configuration click on integrations click on z-wave configure and then click add node secure so now that your home assistant hub is in inclusion mode go ahead and click on my hub is in inclusion mode it will give you a warning i don't know what it means i just click on got it and there you go the lock has been successfully connected to the z-wave hub done at this point i went ahead and removed the august integration that we did earlier i removed the connect component from the outlet so i'm making sure that the august lock is not connected to my wi-fi network all it's connected to is via bluetooth or z-wave in my configuration you can see that august has been removed or at least the wi-fi has been removed clicking on my z-wave devices you can see that my august has been successfully added 
and here are those entities available via Z-Wave. Now that you have successfully converted your dumb deadbolts to smart deadbolts, how can you actually open it from the outside? Well, you can use the app and connect to your smart lock when you're outside via Bluetooth, but that's a pain in the butt. Or you can also open Home Assistant app up and click on this lock or unlock button anytime, but that's also a pain in the butt. The best solution I've found so far was using an RFID tags. So basically the RFID tag does not use any batteries or whatsoever. It's just a tag that's posted outside my door. And as soon as I use my phone to scan the RF tag, it automatically unlocked the door. I've already set up this automation in another video. So please check that out if you are unsure, uncertain how to integrate RF tags along with your smart locks to unlock the door. Hopefully this video has helped you to decide whether this smart lock is for you or not. Personally, I love it. From the outside, it looks like a regular dumb deadbolt. Inside, it is super smart. One of the downside I can only think of is that it looks super bulky compared to my other smart locks. But given how easy it is to install within 10 minutes and all of the guides via videos to install it, I think it's a definitely a good buy. Whether you're highly integrated with Home Assistant like myself or not, this lock is still for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching.